Hello everybody, I'm the Solo Gamer, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Red Italy. Welcome back to the Italian Union. So, in the last episode, we were working on a couple different things. First and foremost, we are in China. We are helping out the Chinese battle the Japanese. Uh, currently not doing so well, but the Chinese have made a push into Manchuria. They probably invaded via, uh, their navies. And now they're making a, a huge push into Manchuria. I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but it's... It's good, you know? It's taking the pressure off the main front, which is very, very nice. Of course, the main front is falling very, very fast. Especially, like I said, up here. Because my guys can't do anything. So, uh, we'll probably pull back and do something else. But in the meantime, we were also working on our tank division. Our very first tank division. Which I now have a name for. Thank you to... Oh, shoot. I totally forget who, who told me. So this is the Division Corazzata, which is essentially Armored Division in Italian. Um, so we're going to name it that. I, again, I'm sorry. There's a couple people that mentioned uh, the name. So I'm sorry I can't get you guys' names, but thank you so much for helping me. So this is just our first template. This is just going to get us started. So once we unlock medium tanks in the tech tree, which I, I'm going to do very, very soon, actually, uh, I will replace these with medium tanks. And then we'll work on, uh, somebody mentioned, uh, now I know this guy, the commenter was Reggie. And he mentions that, where are we? In here, right? So instead of using generic artillery, we can actually have armored artillery. And the way you do that is this little icon right here, which is essentially a, a variant of the tank that adds artillery to it. It replaces the main gun with artillery, essentially. So you'll actually have armored artillery that basically is the same specifications as the tank, just different armaments. Which is absolutely perfect. I totally forgot these existed, to be honest. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and make um, an artillery version of the light tank, because I want the medium tank. So there's no point in wasting that research time, even though it is very, very short. Um, but no, we're going to get down to the medium tank here, and then I'm going to work on the, uh, the artillery for that. And then add that to the tank line over here. So, those are all future plans. Again, I, I don't have enough experience right now to do much anyway. The next thing I want to work on is, of course, redoing this. I want to get rid of the cavalry. Make sure they're all mobile um, motorized infantry. And actually what I want to do as well is use the light tanks in this division. We don't want to get rid of the light tanks in this division because the light tanks are still great for a motorized division. Light tanks are fast and they have the capabilities for great attack. Um, so we want to keep them here and especially considering after a while, like I said, there won't be any light tanks in our... What? That should have changed. That's kind of weird. Oh, I have to save it. Uh... There we go. Uh, yeah, there won't be any light tanks in here, so we'll have an, a, a surplus. And that surplus can, of course, go into the mobile division. So we'll, we'll keep the light tanks just there. In fact, can I just do this now? I can't. I don't want to use any more light tanks right now because, well, we're not doing great with that. But can I change these guys out? Nope. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg. Eek. Yeah, I need 20 to get started. Yeah. So 20 experience. We'll go ahead and remodel this one. And then we'll be good for that. It's... I'm learning as I go. And like I said in the last episode, um, you guys are going to really help me out. And you have so far. So thank you again for that. And uh, now I'm going to shut up so that we can let time pass. One thing I want to do as well, uh, and I kind of noticed this, is that there is no supply whatsoever in the Libyan desert. Because there is no infrastructure. For obvious reasons, this is the desert. Uh, we're going to change that. So, the one thing that this focus, come on, this focus doesn't do is supply infrastructure to the Libyan desert. So, we're going to have to do that manually. So, queuing this up is good. It'll get us started. Uh, eventually, this will all be kind of nicely infrastructure, and we'll get around a little bit easier here. Uh, the only problem with Africa is that it is such a bitch to fight here. It is so unbelievably annoying to cross the deserts really i mean as africa was but even up in here you know along the coastline where you think it'd be a little bit easier it's still hard so i really don't want to focus on africa too too much but i do want to make sure that libya is a great place uh same with ethiopia as well 
We want to make sure these are heavily defended so that we keep them. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any good resources over here. There's some rubber <laughs> in uh, Ethiopia. And we're going to have a lot of oil in Libya. So Libya is definitely a key place to defend from. But Ethiopia, I guess not so much. Besides having it be in the mountains, which is very, very nice. Uh, okay, so we finished our, our one of our techs, which is Excavation 1. We will go ahead and take a look at our resources now. So we're still lacking, but I don't think we're lacking as much as we were before, which is very, very good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and work on uh, Advanced Machine Tools or Dispersed Industry 3. You know what, let's work on this one first. The Production Efficiency Cap is going to be raised to 15% or 15% more, which is just awesome. It's really, really good. That's this right here. Once this is at max, we're going to be producing everything like crazy. So I, w I definitely want that higher. I we are going to have to work on more resources here. And that absolutely sucks. But we'll, we'll do it in time. Uh, we are working on military factories as well. I think, yeah, we're working on towed artillery, which is very important as well for our infantry. We're going to want to have uh, artillery with all of our infantry and uh, go from there. Anyway, we finished up our War with Greece National Focus, which gives us the ability to claim Greece, which is great. Uh, now, I'm not sure. It does require befriend Greece, but that might skip that, possibly. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. If anything, I'll just befriend Turkey. But I'd rather not. Okay, so that's that's fine. What we'll do now is we'll actually come down to Libyan refineries. We're, we're going to need this oil. No doubt about it, we're going to need this oil. We're already 17 in the hole, so doing this now is going to be worth it. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll see what we can do after that. Um, what we should probably do, first and foremost, before we get ready for war with Greece... I want to assign you to the Red Division instead. Same with you. And we're going to wait for this line, I think, and then we're going to go in. Uh, although, if we could take a look here, we're actually heavily outmatched in Greece. And uh, what is the reason for this? Oh! Wait, no. I don't know, then. Forces comparison. The enemy is stronger. I wish it told you how much stronger, because I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> I'm thinking that, like, I, I'm just really confused right now because it says my two divisions of infantry have 12 infantry. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I'll go into the detail once I get into the uh, template. But theirs, their one has 7 to 12 each, which is more than two of mine, which doesn't make any sense unless... Oh, it's combat width. Okay, that's the reason. What we can... Oh, we can't. We can't add any more, can we? I can add... Oh, yes, I can. I can add another line. That would bring it up to 16? Hmm. Is this good, though? <laughs> I mean, we have the infantry equipment. No doubt about that, but... Yeah, you know what? This is fine. We're not actually losing anything in here. We're actually going to gain a lot more stuff, obviously. Uh, I wish I could add artillery. I can't do that. But you know what? Let's just save this. Whatever. Let's do it. So now we're up to about 16 each. Is that each or is that just on one? That's just on one. I don't understand then. I, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, this game just confuses me sometimes. It's better, right? Let's just say that. It is better. So, we should see this. Yeah, it, it did increase by quite a bit. So, combat width definitely plays a major factor. And they are reorganizing because they notice that. In fact, we are now equal. Holy shit. Changing two... Well, we just... We changed one thing. And that just changed the name of the game. Combat width is very important, guys. Let's just point that out right now. Holy crap. Alright, I am okay with that. Can we just declare war? We can. What I'm going to do then, just for the time being, he can support a total of 24 guys, so we might as well fill that up at this point in time. Um, we're going to grab another division, Salaire. Not, I 
mobile division, I guess. And nothing else is pretty much ready, so we will go ahead and add up to 23 then. What do you have? Do you have mountains? Of course you do. Alright, let's add you. You. So we're going to need eight more guys? Yeah, eight more guys. So two. Uh, yep. Three. And then I guess what we can do is add this guy. Something like that for the time being. Just for this war. In fact, we're not even going to need a substantial force over here after the war. Because we're already friends with Bulgaria, technically. And the only enemy is going to be Yugoslavia. So we can, again, re-strengthen the France line here and uh, go from there. Yugoslavia is, of course, something we want to do very, very soon as well. But they are close to the Democrats, which is... You know, that means that they're close to the Allies. So we're going to have to wait until the world kind of tangos with each other before we can do much. But Greece should be okay. We should be able to declare war on Greece fairly quickly. All right, we have another chance to modify our government. So what I think I'm going to do to prepare for our tanks is go ahead and grab a tank designer. Fiat. You know, the great tank designer. I didn't actually know that they designed tanks back then. Interesting. Okay, so this will uh, increase our armor reliability by 5%, which is great, as well as research time minus 10%. So this is very, very nice. Cool. How is our equipment doing? Light tanks, they're, they're fantastic. Uh, we're getting 2.5 a day. And we have a substantial amount in reserve, so we'll be able to replace any ones that fall in, in battle here. Yep, computing machine is done. Let's go ahead and work on encryption, or actually decryption first, and then encryption. So decryption allows us to see things more clearly. Instead of a number like this, we'll get a more refined number. So instead of them having 9 to 11, we'll see 10. Or 22 to 45, we'll see 27 to 30 something. You know what I mean? So it, it decreases the number so you get a finer detail amount of what a nation has. And of course, to increase ours to other nations, it would be encryption. I'm looking at the wrong thing, but you get what I mean. Alright, submarine operations is done as well. Now, I'm going to stop with the naval reforms for the time being, only because I want to work on armor. And we're going to grab the L6, which is the next light tank, and then down to the M1139, which is the medium tank that's going to help us out quite a bit in our tank division. So, we are now stronger than the opposing forces. What I will do is wait until they are fully planned, and then we'll go in. So the planning bonus... Uh, oh, this... No. Do they already have it? Oh, they do, because they switch from an already other... That's the one thing that I don't get about this game as well, is that when you switch... So you can have a division over here that's planning for this, right? And they'll have that fully planned out. Then you assign them to a new division, and it'll still be completely planned. <laughs> like, it's it's just weird. I'm not complaining, because it's great. It, you know, it's great. They don't have to build that back up. But at the same time, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. You're not invading France anymore. You're invading Greece. It's not the same terrain. Uh, at any rate, I will become fully entrenched before I go, you know, before I go into war here. And I want to wait for this guy. The last mobile division to be made before the battle. How is China doing? Uh, we are defending properly. That's pretty good. What I want to do then, because these guys are losing, is... Uh, I don't even know. I'm going to have to come back anyway. I'm just gaining experience at this point. So you know what? They're attacking us here. We might as well just sit here and let them. Unless I can push forward. If we can push forward to Beijing, that might be worthwhile. Come on, let me do something. Come on! Quick! Oh, come on! Win the goddamn battle! Push, push, push! Ah! There we go! Push into Beijing. If anything, it's gonna give us a lot of experience. We're not gonna get there, actually. We're probably, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna stop right here, essentially. But, we're gonna be in battle, and that's great. What I should do is something like this. And then something like that. Well, ah, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to go well.
Hmm. Yeah, you, you, just, just defend. I mean, this we're gaining experience. We're fine. Where are we? We are over here. Uh, okay, so we have our mobile division that came in here. It's actually being transported right now. So once it gets here, once it plans, then we'll go into battle. And we're going to be pretty efficiently taking out Greece here. Another easy and successful war, kind of like Saudi Arabia. And hopefully soon, Iraq. Uh, that's the big thing. Now, Republican Spain. They are negative 29. Base reluctance is minus 20, and neither they nor we are at war. That might change when we go to war against Greece. It's not a big player, so they might be okay with that. We'll have to check. Um, uh, it's going to take a while to plan. I'll stop it at like 30. Right? We'll stop it at 30, then we'll go in. Because I don't want to wait too much longer. I want to fight. And not fight here. Because this is just... What the hell? How'd that... Wait, what? How the hell did that happen? I don't... I'm confused right now. How is he on this tile? This is... Spooky. <laughs> I don't, I don't get this. But we will, I guess. Oh, okay. They are sweeping up down here. This is not going well. I don't want to lose these divisions. So I'm going to kind of get them back to safety. Come on. All right, we finished direct ground support. Uh, that reminds me, I want to set up my planes as well. It would help if I didn't you know, click on the opposite screen and tab myself out. Uh, <laughs> let's go... Ooh, we have a split decision. We could either go formation fighting, which gives us air superiority mission efficiency, or fighter ace initiative. Ace generation chance is plus 25%, and as I mentioned before, uh, ace fighters are essentially generals of the air. <sighs> That's a good question. We're going to get a lot more mission efficiency down here. And Italy's not really known for its efficiency. But you know what? I think it's probably worthwhile doing this one. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, actually, before we do that, what... Okay, planes are still out by a year. So maybe after the next Doctrine. We'll see if we can go to the next line. Alright, you are there. Let's move you here. Yeah, China is dead at this point, which absolutely sucks. Yep, they united the South. Ugh, that's, that's, this is not going well. But, it has served us very well. We are getting a crap load of experience from this, uh, this little proxy war, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, motorized, whoop. Okay, that's done. Uh, tank divisions, we're up to 307. Artillery, 521. Not quite yet up to par with adding a... Support artillery. That would cost us 24 per division. And we do not have remotely close to that. <laughs> uh, Libyan refineries. Good. So we have more oil. We are now in debt by... Really? How did that drop? That is pretty decent. Okay. Um, we can either go for Libyan infrastructure or... One of these guys up here. And I'm thinking we do modernized infantry. Or artillery, sorry. Oh, or... Or we could go with air innovations. Which would allow us to... Work on those, um, those new, uh, designs for airplane. And it gives us, uh, bonuses towards air doctrines as well. So you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, Armored Operations is done as well. Let's go ahead and work on the next one, which is Supply Consumption minus 10%. One of the better ones uh, in this uh, tree. The German Reich claims Memel. Yes, so that would be up in here, and I guess... Yep, it did get it from Lithuania. Lithuania ceded it to Germany. I mean, that's better than having a war with Lithuania. I'll tell you that much. Um, all right. We are ready for war? Yes, we are. All right. 
Let us declare war. Uh, I don't have any allies. On Greece! I totally forgot to do the air mission. Whatever. Let's move you to Albania if we can. I'm losing... What the hell? Go there. And then we'll have you set up in Greece for port strike, close air support, and then that. Okay, they shouldn't have an, uh, an air force at all, but if we can help our forces on the ground, then we should be alright. Send volunteers from the Soviet Union. Absolutely, come help me out. If you want to, of course. Invite to faction. They, they don't want to be drawn into this tiny little war. Alright, fine, whatever. Let us go ahead and invade. This should be relatively quickly. Once we make it over this mountain range, we should, you know, charge right through to Athens, uh, hopefully. Uh, we are coming back from China now. And we're just getting a shitload more experience, which is just fantastic. Absolutely great. Uh, ooh, alright. Let's just have you guys go straight into Corfu. The reason being is I don't want to have to defend this line, and I bet you what they've done is they set up how many divisions for this line? I can't actually check. Regardless, I don't want any divisions lagging behind. They set up four, actually. So four divisions are protecting this little border right here, even though it's pretty easy to take. So we might as well do that now. Alright. How is the Air Force doing? It's a nice little test for our Air Force, right? Uh, yeah, we're, we've got full air superiority here. They don't have anything. They have some anti-air guns, and that's going to cause a little bit of problems, but not too, too much. Alright, Corfu is ours. Awesome. So we're going to swiftly move on down to Athens. Uh, volunteer forces have arrived. Wait. Oh no, this is ours. I thought it was from the Soviet Union. Uh, let's... Oh, well, it is! There's... There's... <laughs> there's the Soviets. They are sitting up in northern Albania at this point. We have... Where did our guys go? Oh, they went up here. Well, I'm going to put you guys on the green line. Because I don't need you in this battle right now. It's pretty much almost won. The only thing that I have a problem with right now is... Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. Uh, can we not? You're right there, yes. I do want to upgrade you. And the reason being is that if you get any promotions... I can't have more than 24 in this army, and I do want more than 24 divisions. So I'm going to have to upgrade you right now. Actually, do you lose the old guard? Because if so, that would be fantastic. You don't. Well, whatever. It, at the very least, you're not constrained with 24 divisions. You can have more than that, which is what I want. So, it's totally fine. Alright, 51% world tension. Probably because, well, us, obviously, we declared for 4.4. That's actually not that much. The Germans sent one volunteer to uh, Greece. Those dirty, rotten assholes. We're losing there. That's all right. As long as we push in here and cut them off, we should be all right. Uh, let's move in there and there. Oh, those are the Germans. Well, let's go like that and then up. Same with you. We destroyed some of their stuff. We destroyed 16 heavy cruiser... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Heavy cruiser, light destroyer, submarines. Jesus. All right, that was great. We destroyed quite a bit of their, uh, their forces. In fact, I don't think those were destroyed, were they? I might have read that wrong. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we're winning this little battle here, which is great, because then we'll cut off Athens from the major battle. We'll come back this way. In fact, yeah, I want you guys to set up a new line. Right there. Yeah, right there. And then have you guys go after... I just did that wrong. Ah, shit. Just do... What? I, I don't care. Just come in this way. We are attacking Athens? Oh, the slight little border right here actually makes this tile border Athens. Okay, not what I exactly wanted, but that's that's totally fine. 
All right, we're taking up north, which is awesome. Squeezing the Greeks out of their own region, which is just fantastic. Come on, take it. There we go. Perfect. Now, I don't think... Okay, so they do have another capital, which is in Thessaloniki. Th Thessa. Let's just say Thessa. Um, so we do have to worry about that, too, but that's all right. I want you guys to do that, and then just take it all. Thank you very much. We do have to take Naxos as well. Come on. Take it. What are you doing? Is it because they have things in the water? Probably. We don't need it. It's fine. Alright, air wings with no mission. That's totally fine. You don't need to use everything in uh, your wars. We are essentially almost done. Just need a little bit more land, and then we'll be good. Uh, free military factories. So it looks like we are conquering some from Greece, which is amazing. So we're starting to work on all of our aircraft now, which is awesome. Uh, and we have free ones. So I think what I'm going to do is put them in artillery. We have more? Uh, we... Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Perfect. Move up. Starve these guys out. Hopefully. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Cool. So now, we just have to drop a new front line, which is very, very easy, to this new capital. And this should be the last one. Should. Uh, I think Creek... Uh, Creek. Ah, uh, Crete. I think Crete also spawns one as well, sadly. So we might have to see. Hopefully we have enough of the battle by that point to win. In fact, we do already. So hopefully after that ticks over, we should be all right. And it looks like, is Bulgaria in our... Oh, we are... Al oh, yeah, they are in the faction. Wait a minute, what? Do I remember doing that? I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, maybe. I kind of forget. All right, anyway, we are going to take Thessa. Oh, okay, after the fate of che uh, Czechoslovakia. So, let's see. Uh, German troops have crossed into Bohemia and uh, Moravia, ostensibly to restore order to the regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakian government. In Prague, the occupying forces announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. With German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Josef Tiso. The nation of Czechoslovakia is no more. Yep, so we have Slovakia, which is a puppet of the Germans. Great. More fascists. Uh, Air Innovations is also done, so that's going to help us out quite a bit. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do. You know what, let's just grab Libyan infrastructure for the time being, uh, just so that's done. And then we can work on all of the stuff that's going to help us essentially research faster. Uh, now, we can, of course, probably take claims on Turkey after we eat Greece, but I'm not sure if that's going to fire or not, so we'll have to hopefully wait and see. I would like Turkey. Turkey's great, and it would connect up our lands in the Middle East, so we'll see. Finish up! It's so close! Are you all in... Yeah, you are all attacking, so... Come on! 96. Yes. Keep it coming. <laughs> uh, resistance to occupation. That's totally fine. It doesn't do anything. Resistance is literally the useless rebel system in this game. It, it, it doesn't work. It, like, it, well, it works, right? But it doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't matter. You can just totally ignore it and be fine. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. We're gonna grab, uh, Aircraft Designer, because we're gonna work on that next, too. Ooh. Right. Um. Ah, god damn it, I keep tabbing out. Ah. Alright. Where are we going here? So, I'm thinking we probably do close air support. Or fighters. I mean... Light Aircraft Designer is... 
fighters. Uh, naval... Where is... Do we not have one for... Okay, we don't. For close air support. So... I guess we'll do the, the, the light aircraft designer. Air research time is minus 10%, which is for everything. But then we have fighter, which is agility plus 10%, and max speed plus 10%, which is great. And then, of course, carrier fighters, which we don't care about at this point in time. So, we'll do that, which is still good. Uh, also, the Treaty of Heracleon, which is the new capital of Greece. Good. We will conquer everything. Uh, I want everything. Take all states. I could puppet them, but... Ooh. Well, do I do that? No. No. I want direct borders with Yugoslavia. And, like I said, if I can take Turkey out, then I can link up all of my lands together. Which would be kind of easier to kind of control. So, we'll do this. Done. That's right. The Italian Union took seven states. Greece was annexed. And we took 53,000 equipment. Holy shit. Why were they sitting on that? That's absolutely insane. And I am very happy about that. We also have about, well, we have, I think we got a total of like three military factories this entire conquest, which I guess is still good. Uh, how many, oh, we took about maybe four, four civilian factories as well. That's not bad. I mean, that's, that doesn't help. Uh, so we'll put these guys probably Are we working on support? We are. Uh, right. What are we lacking? Tanks, obviously, but I want to make sure I have a slot open for product, uh, medium tanks. I guess artillery, still. We're going to need a lot of artillery. Let's just double that up. All right. How is our ref uh, resources? Oil, 10. Rubber, 6. Steel, 1. What do we get from Greece? We got a crap load of things. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, so the Red Army can go ahead and border Yugoslavia for the time being. We actually have the border of Bulgaria to work with as well, so we can easily take Belgrade. And of course, uh, well, just kind of go like this. Go along the river here, I guess, but that's fine. All right, um, I wonder since Greece is gone, if it will skip over this focus so we can claim Turkey. I want this. I don't know if we're going to get that. Anyway, uh, decryption. We got that one. So now we can work on encryption if we want to. Uh, I think I... Yeah, I think I do. So, Yugoslavia. Well, I guess... It's still pretty high, but it's definitely better than it was before. So, it's, it's still good to get decryption. So you know what you're going to get yourself into, essentially. Anyway, that was a pretty successful episode. We took out Greece. The next step is probably going to be Iraq. Um, I think, I think I'm definitely going to head, go ahead and justify a goal and then we'll take out Iraq and go from there. But things are working very, very well for us at this point in time. Just trying to think of how I want to situate these guys. Oh yeah, these guys all got screwed up. Well, what we can do is just assign this guy to red and this guy to green. Something like that. And we could probably get even more infantry, too. Because we are have... Ugh, we just have so many goddamn equipment. You know what? At the very least, we will add... Another line each. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, that was this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And definitely, stay tuned for more.